Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add new weapon attachment slots. I'm going to be using Unreal Engine 5, but if you're still using Unreal Engine 4, you can follow along with this video just fine. And before following this video, I strongly recommend making a backup of your project, just in case something goes wrong, you can always revert back to that. So to get started, we're going to search for E underscore attachment in the uh, content browser here. Open up the attachment type. I'm just going to drag this over. Now this is where you add your new attachment slot type. I'm just going to click add enumerator and I'm going to call my new attachment like that. Then we'll save. Then we're going to hit play in editor and this is going to force all of our blueprints to recompile. Now it might take a moment to do this and we may get an error pop up. So we're just going to wait for a second. See, we've got this uh, player inventory error. If you didn't get this and the character loaded in, that's fine. You can just uh, skip this part. But if you do get this error co uh, come up, just click this, give it a sec to open up the blueprint, close this, and you can see it's giving us some errors. If we just recompile, it will get rid of those, and then we'll hit play again, and now we have our character in game. Next, we're gonna exit out of playing in the game, and we're gonna search for weapon inventory. Open up this blueprint here. And in here, we're going to search, or we'll click in the variables, do not edit. We're just gonna right click the muzzle item here, do find references. And that's gonna give us all the places that our muzzle is used. So we'll double click the first set here. And now here is where we need to add our new attachment. So what we're gonna do is we'll right click the muzzle item, do duplicate, and I'm gonna name this now. So this will be your new attachment item. I'm gonna call this attach, uh, new attachment. And then we're going to drag this in. We'll do a set node, plug this into the new attachment pin here, and I'm just going to copy and paste this attachment L variable and connect that up. Then we'll go on to the next set node. So we'll double click this. And again, in here, we're just going to grab our new attachment, set it, connect this up to new attachment. And then we'll copy and paste this new attachment L variable, plug that in. And then the last one, go to select attachment item. And we just need to do a get new attachment plug this into the new attachment pin here, and then we can compile and save this blueprint. Now again, we're just gonna play an editor so that compiles our blueprints and that's loaded up all fine. So we'll X out of this. And now in the content browser, we're gonna search for attachment. Oh, spelled correctly. There we go. And we're gonna open up the attachment window widget here, like that. Next, we're gonna scroll down in the hierarchy here. I'm gonna select the uh, muzzle slot. We'll do control C. Then we're going to select the attachment grid and do control V to paste that in. Now you can put this where you want. I'm just going to move mine down here and I'll put it over to the side like that. And we can compile. Now I'm going to rename this new uh, slot. We'll call it new attachment slot. Obviously you would call it your attachment name. Then we've got the slot name. So this is the text that comes up above the icon. So I'm just going to put new attach. Or I'll do it all caps like the other ones so new attach and then here where it says attachment slot type you need to change this from muzzle to your new attachment like that then we'll compile and go over to the graph and we're going to scroll up open up the attachment functions and go to selected or select attachment slot and in here we just want to get our new attachment slot so i'm just going to search for its name so it's new there we go new attachment slot we'll get that plug that into our new attachment pin here, and then we can compile and save this. Just as a side note, if in the uh, designer view here, you maybe put it, uh, the new slot over to this side, um, it won't actually allow you to have five slots by default. To change that, you need to go, if we scroll up here, select the top option here, then in the customization, you can choose how many slots, oh, you can choose how many slots uh, wide this widget will be. So by default, it's four. So if there are more than four weapon attachment slots for the attachment window, it'll move the next one down. So if you wanted this to be five wide, you'd need to change this to five. So now we've set up our new weapon slot. We actually just need to add it to a weapon and then set an attachment to actually use that slot. So I'm just gonna be using the M4. So I'm just gonna search for M4, but you would go to the weapon that you want to uh, add this new attachment slot to. I'll open up the BP uh, M4A4. And in here, we're just gonna search for attachment. And here under available attachment slot, this is where we set 
what attachment slots this weapon has. So we're just going to add a new one. We'll set this to new attachment like that and we'll compile. Now we need to go to an attachment blueprint and set it to use that new slot. So I'm just going to use the silencer. Obviously, if you have a, a different attachment, you can do that. So I'm going to search for silencer. I'm going to go to the BP silencer attach. We'll open that up. And in the class defaults here, you can see attachment type. We're just going to change this to new attachment like that. Then we'll compile and save. So now we've said that our M4 has our new attachment slot. And then we've told our silencer that it attaches to that new slot. So now we can just hit play. I can run over. I'm just going to pick up a backpack and we'll equip this weapon. And we'll pick up the silencer and double click our weapon to bring up our attachment menu. You can see we've got our new slot. If I drag our silencer now onto the muzzle, it won't let us attach it. But if I drag it to the new slot, you can see that it attaches. And you can see if I aim the camera down, you can see our attachment is on our weapon there as well. So we're pretty much done for this video. If you wanna learn how to create new attachments for weapons, I have a separate video for that. That's gonna be linked in the survival game kit documentation, so you can go and check that out.